Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to link functions to some UI button that we just made. So whenever we click one of those, it's going to call a function inside of my code and then change my scene. So without further ado guys, let's get started. Okay, so first let's look at what we currently have in our project. So I have a total of three scenes. This one is what I call the ground level. This is the space level. And this is my menu scene. So ground level and space level are actual levels, and my menu is just uh, its simply going to be some kind of level selection. Now I'm going to make my level selection uh, script using UI buttons. And to do that, the first thing I'll do is first I'll remove what i actually done before, <laughs> and I'll create a new script. This one is going to be called uh, menu script. But it could be called pretty much anything. It can be any kind of script as long as you just put a reference to it a little bit later on and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. But first, let's go ahead and create ourselves a script that does just what we said. So, in order to change scene in Unity, what we do is um, we call... First, let me just create a function real quick. So let's make this public. Public... Uh, change scene so it's going to be a void public void change scene which is going to take in parameter a string scene name and what I want this function to do is whenever we uh, shoot a string to this function it just simply look for that scene and load it so in unity you do application dot load level and then you pass in a string or int in our case we pass in the scene name Okay, so this is the function that whenever I click a certain button, I want this function to be called. So I'll show you exactly how you do that. First, you'll need that script somewhere on your scene. Uh, you'll, need, you'll need that script to be on an object. For this video, I simply put it on the main camera, so it's always available. So I'm going to drag and drop the menu script. Remember, it can be called anything. And I'm going to drag and drop it on top of my main camera so now my main camera has that script okay now as for the buttons I'm going to right click in the R key UI and create myself a button now what happens is if you don't have a canvas it's going to create a new one and there's a, it's also going to create a event system which is required if you want to be able to um, well pass event to your UI object so if you want to be able to click on buttons you need that in case you just want to make a static UI that is there for, uh, I guess, uh, art purpose, you don't need any action on it. You don't need the event system. Okay, so whenever you edit the UI, you want to be putting your scene in 2D so you can properly see what's going on. And over here, I've created a button. Now I'm just going to resize it a little bit, put it in the center, and maybe give it a width of 300 by, say, 150. And this button right here, I want it to redirect me to the ground scene. So what I'll do is I'll modify the text inside of it, and I'll say uh, load ground scene. Okay, and then I'll create myself another button that I'll move a little bit to the right. And this is going to be the load space scene. Just like that. Of course, you can move them around, edit it as you wish. So I'm going to put them around here. And now, if we press play, what I want this to do when I click on load ground scene is I want this to call the change scene function and give it the parameter I want, so ground in that case, because my scene is called ground. OK. Now, first off, since we're changing scene, we're going to need to add them to the build settings. So I already had ground in there, I'm going to add space, and I'm going to add menu. Okay. Now using the button element, the button component inside of our uh, button object, you can modify stuff in here. So um, normal color, you can change the button color, you can customize it as much as you want, but what we're really interested in is the onclick event down here. Okay, so the list is empty. What we want to be doing is hit the little plus sign and then it's going to ask us for an object. So we want to choose whichever object that has the uh, component menu script. Then that menu script has a function called um, change scene in our case. 
So if we take a look at this, we just put our main camera, which contain all these components, the transform, the camera, the, the GUI layer, the flare, audio listener, and the menu script. We just put that in here, and we get the exact same uh, result over here as well. So we're interested in a function that is inside of menu script. So let's go over here, and then we're going to find change scene just here. The reason it pops up is because we have a public function. If it was private, we wouldn't be able to use it right here. Okay, now if we, if we go back to our function, we can tell that it takes in a string parameter, which is the scene name. Now we have to write that exact same parameter in this little box here. In our case, since we want to load the ground scene, and the ground scene is called ground, we're simply going to put ground in there. We do the same thing for the number 2 button. I'm just going to fix the text real quick. Alright, so number 2 button, we put the camera in here. So main camera, and then a function I'm interested in, in a menu script. Then change scene and space. Now let's hit play. And let's load the ground scene. And it does exactly what we wanted to do. So guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you work with buttons. That's how you link a function to them. Okay, so if this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, subscribe for more of these tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.